Uh, hello, we'll be talking about hot water therapy and diabetes mellitus. Uh, we just make it a very, uh, very uh, short, so we cannot talk everything uh, in detail, but we just give a glimpse about why hot water therapy, what does it do to prevent us from diabetes and control diabetes, and also what is the, the hidden secret on hot water about the diabetes? What's the relationship? And we know that the human being, we have, I mean, diabetes comes in two forms type A, type 1, and type 2. So type 1 is that when the pancreas can uh, fail to secrete or does not secrete enough uh, insulin uh, to regulate the glucose or sugar level in the blood so it accumulates to become a, a diabetes. Type 2, of course, that the cells cannot recognize the, uh, the insulin level uh, in, the, in the cells. So what happened actually, it's very important about diabetes. See, diabetes actually is in the, the blood. We know that the human blood, the plasma, is actually uh, composed of 92% water and the temperature of the blood actually approximately is about uh, 37 or 37.5 which is about uh, approximately up to the body's temperature or a little bit above so that it's secure uh, securing uh, providing the energy to the body and through the thermogenesis so when you go through thermogenesis by example when you do exercise we create, we create thermogenesis that's heat in our body and then the, body, the, the veins go through the vasodilation or dilation of the blood veins and that will allow uh, the easy flow of the blood that which actually is uh, the plasma is 92 percent water so the eight percent is uh, the balance is uh, the white blood cells the red blood cells and so on now uh, uh, what happened actually usually the food that we eat there's a lot there's a lot of controversies about uh, like uh, for example carbohydrates uh, cause uh, diabetes and so on plus 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 taking a lot of sugar but we know that uh, uh, during the metabolic system, actually, they cannot go into details, but actually the enzyme that break down these proteins into amino acids, the fat into fatty acids, and the carbohydrates into uh, glucose. And the glucose and uh, fatty acids, the cells use them, use them as an energy source, so it can store them as ATP, adenosine triphosphate, so it, as a currency for the, uh, for the energy. It used them when in the time we had lack of energy, so it borrow it can get from there as a currency. So it buy, it borrows or it buy the, that uh, the, the energy to use them at the time we need. So uh, uh, so during metabolism system, actually that, that we get uh, we our body benefit from the sugar level, which is a, or the glucose in the blood to use as this energy source. But what happened here is that when our metabolic system is low for many reasons. Then, instead of the, breaking them down, the enzyme break them down into a reusable energy source, then they accumulate to cause what you call a sugar level, a raise more than the normal time. Right? And uh, within time, the pancreas uh, failed to secrete enough, or, uh, enough insulin. All the cells in type 1 and type 2, the cells uh, do not recognize the insulin level. Number one. Number two, we know that uh, cold, as we mentioned about the re many research about, cold actually triggers the tongue. When you take something cold, uh, it triggers the brain sending the uh, signal and uh, it will trigger thinking that there's not enough uh, sugar. Actually, when you take ice cream or cold drinks, there's a huge presence of sugar level. So what happened here is that it does not recognize because of the cold, it triggers the tongue and sending the signal to the brain. The brain cannot recognize the sugar level in that liquid you take or the ice cream, whatever it is. So what happens that instead of secreting the, 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 the insulin to reduce the sugar presence, then what happened, because it triggers, then within time, then there's accumulation of sugar. And all that, during metabolic system, actually, there's a, the two main factors that you needed. It's actually main, how, the main, uh, it's hot water. How? The water itself, uh, as we, you know, uh, there's a huge presence of uh, uh, quantity of water that's used during the metabolism system, during the pancreas, when, it, I mean, the, when our stomach, uh, uh, crunch the food and during processing of the food from the enzyme break these uh, substances into reusable energy proteins and uh, uh, so on for uh, energy and so on then the when, when there's not enough water then it impedes the function and the secondly is that during metabolic system it actually there's a huge presence of energy heat is emitted so it needs uh, energy so heat is a source of energy so we need also hot water which is water and the heat so it will speed up the reaction of the metabolism system that will lower the sugar level uh, of course there is there's more than that explanation like for example that's been research has been found that the body uh, we have what you call a, a cholesterol sulfate under the skin is uh, that's uh, been uh, scientifically proven that when you use the sun bathing then can help to uh, the cholesterol sulfate under the skin which is the lipid layer under the skin to produce what you call the vitamin D and it's well known that vitamin D 
uh, has a lot of benefits, including lowering the uh, sugar level in our uh, blood. We cannot go into details of that, but the, the fact is that when the the, the lipid produces the vitamin D or the cholesterol sulfate, and then the sugar in the uh, blood uh, leaves uh, there and to uh, I mean, the, sorry, the lipid in the blood leaves to, the, the, which is the cholesterol, the, the blood leaves because we know that there is a specific presence of cholesterol in the blood. So it leaves the place and fill up the cholesterol sulfate under the skin. And then the cholesterol plaque and the, it reduces. So in this case, because there is a, a flow of the, of the blood, because the cholesterol from the veins leave there, so it will allow the veins to. Uh, the veins, the thickening of the veins will remain much better so to allow the flow of the blood and uh, that is, uh, so w there's a lot of to explain about that but we try to bring just only a glimpse about that so with hot water therapy you're secure to provide the cells, uh, every single part of the cells in our body with the water to hydrate the cells, hydrogen, oxygen and energy I wish you a good health, healthy life and uh, hot water therapy for life this is my hot water Thank you so much. I appreciate it.